guys it's Tamir from Android Taylor talking to you and today I'm gonna show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 so let's get started first thing you wanna check is in your settings you have to go to more there you go to about device you need to check that your model number is GTI 9300 if you have other model number it's not uh, good for this guide you need to search for another guide because you can make seriously uh, damage to your device another thing you need to check is if you have Android 4.3 Jelly Bean um, if you do not have it you need to search for another guide because I don't know if it works on another um, Android versions so after you checked it Another thing you want to do is to go to about device and press the build number till you get this message developer mode has already been turned on after that you need to go to developer options and enable USB debugging so if I just check it um, you press ok and now you can You can do anything. Um, you need to turn off your device, right, and put it at the side. And now you have to go to your computer and download this file. This zip file. Um, after you download it, you have to unzip it and you will get this folder um, I renamed it, it will be the same name um, like this but I, remember, I renamed it to this so you open it you can see that you have same files and them right um, I will show you these are the same, same files so I close this and get this one so you got these files what you need to do now is to open this file called Odin but if you have Windows Vista and up you need to right click on it sorry right click on it and select run as administrator sorry then what you want to do is press yes and now you need to get your phone into downloading mode you do that by uh, holding the volume down home button and power button together for a few seconds till you will see this when you see this you can see that it's writing to you that volume up is to continue and volume down is to cancel and restart your phone so what you want to do is press volume up to continue and then you will see this screen alright now you have to get your USB cable and connect your phone to your computer after you do that you will see in Odin this message saying added and second and you will see this and uh, this square is turning to from uh, like from gray like here to blue and if you see this it means you did everything okay what you want to do now is go to PDA and uh, get to the folder you unzipped so it's in my desktop, you go to it and you will see just one file this file is md5 file this is your root file so you select it and press open so after you open it you will see in the message bar some messages if you see these messages and you see the leave cs message it means you did everything everything alright
and uh, your file is ready to use. So what you do now is press start of course to flash your phone and get root. So you will see this um, you will see here progress bar and then you will see this screen if you see this screen it means you rooted your phone uh, alright and the writing you will reboot in 10 seconds so now the phone is rebooting and and you wait for it um, so Um, I'm sorry if you hear some voices, this is my brother um, screaming, I don't know why. So, your phone is booted alright. If you see the Samsung logo um, really long time, um, you need to pull out your battery, alright? And let me just put my pattern, alright? So, you need to pull out your battery, uh, now doing Zeppel let's say I am power off, it's like pulling the battery right after you uh, powered off you can disconnect your phone from the computer so after you pull out the battery and the phone is now off um, I just wait my phone to get off um, alright so what you do is press volume up um, home and power button so um, I am um, I mention again this is just if your phone stuck on the Samsung logo if not you have to press the power up button home button and power button uh, together so you will now get to the recovery menu and here you need to select by uh, you select in the recovery mode by using the volume up and volume down button and the volume up to select so what you select is wipe, is wipe data factory reset and um, you get to it by the volume down and press button a uh, power button then it will wipe all the data it not need but it will factory reset your phone which means all of your data that not stored on the SD card will delete it so I don't know any other way but um, your phone is uh, not have to get stuck at the Samsung logo so um, after you do that you can just uh, it will uh, return your you t return you back to the main screen of the recovery mode of course you will select reboot system now and choose with the power button and it will reboot your phone and then hopefully the phone will reboot normally so as you can see my phone is now rebooting it's getting up right now um, you will see this starting apps finishing boot and this is after you get rooted so I'll now do my pattern alright so my phone is up as you can see no data was deleted and now to uh, check if you rooted your phone correctly you go to your apps and search for app called super su or super user if you have this app means the the process was alright and it worked correctly now to check if your phone uh, got root access you need to go to the play market and search for app called root checker you can see it right there and you install it accept so um, you wait for it to download and install just a second 
right it's installing after it's installed you open it and you agree to the to this I press ok now you press the verify root button um, this window is um, asking you if you want to uh, give this app root um, access it will count there so now uh, I didn't give this uh, app an access to a root um, so it's uh, it's writing sorry the device is not have proper root access but if I will now close it and reopen we cancel it and reopen the app and press verify root and then I press grant so now as, as you can see just a second I'm sorry someone has called me so as you can see it brought me congratulations this device has root access so if you get this message your device is now rooted right if you did root to uh, and you want now to remove some carrier uh, apps these apps are really annoying and uh, you need to download an app called titanium backup you open it um, you grant it, you give it root access then what you wanna do is is go to backup and restore and search for some carriers app that you want, don't want to be at your phone you um, let's I don't know let's check right email or something so you can press the uninstall button um, I don't want it, so I don't want to uninstall it. I installed all um, fi all apps that I didn't want. So after you uninstall it, you won't see it again. Another thing is if you want to unroot your phone, in some reason, you go into this super user app and go to settings. Then go all the way down. Here you will see this full unroot. If you will check this, it will ask you if you're sure you want to do this. If you will press continue, it will unroot, and you have to um, reboot your phone manually. If not, you press cancel, just like I did, because I don't want to unroot my device right now. And that's it. Thanks for watching.